How does nutrient cycling work? During photosynthesis, plants combine carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and sunlight to produce simple sugars and carbohydrates. But just like humans, plants can't live on sugars and carbs alone. Fortunately for plants, there's a rich source of nutrients right under their feet, in the soil parent material and in organic matter. When dead plant material, or organic matter, falls to the surface of the soil, it's gradually decomposed by microorganisms. Nutrients are then released into the soil, in plant-available form. The next generation of plants then absorbs these nutrients, and so nutrient cycling begins again. We humans remove nutrients from this cycle when we take food from our fields. But these are easily replenished when microorganisms harvest nutrients from the parent material, the rocks and pebbles, and the much smaller particles such as sand, silts, and clays. At the molecular level, the parent material comprises large lattice structures which hold nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, boron, calcium, iron, and all the other nutrients that a plant needs. With a balanced soil food web in place, plants can control the nutrient cycling that's happening in the root zone. They invest some of the sugars and carbs they produce during photosynthesis into the soil in order to feed bacteria and fungi. This causes bacterial and fungal populations to increase dramatically. The bacteria and fungi then get busy harvesting nutrients from the organic matter and parent material, absorbing these nutrients into their bodies. Predatory microorganisms are attracted, and they begin consuming the bacteria and fungi. The wastes left behind by these predators contains an abundance of nutrients in plant-available form. These are easily absorbed into the plant roots. So the plant gets a good return on its investment, exchanging sugars and carbs in return for all the other nutrients it requires. This results in well-nourished, resilient plants and in nutrient-dense food for us humans. With a balanced soil food web in place, plants are able to access all the nutrients they need, on demand, simply by varying the compounds they release into the soil. This means that farmers don't need to waste money buying and applying fertilizers. The soil food web costs very little to maintain by comparison. Having nutrient-rich plants results in greater yields and improved quality of the produce. Reduced costs and greater yields result in dramatically increasing profits for many farmers who have used the soil food web approach. The inorganic fertilizers that farmers used are derived from petrochemicals. Only around 20% of these inorganic fertilizers get absorbed by crops. The other 80% leaches out into our rivers, lakes, and oceans, causing algal blooms and dead zones that are a major environmental problem. So restoring the soil food web leads to nutrient-rich food for the consumer, increased profits for the farmer, and also benefits the environment. For more information about the numerous benefits of the soil food web and how you can get involved, please